Hello. So today I wanted to talk to you about the fabulous topic of anal glands. Many dogs suffer with this from the tiniest little dogs to even large dogs. Um, some signs that your dog may be suffering from a full anal gland, a impacted anal gland, may be things like scooting on the carpet. Mine like to do it, especially when I have company over. Um, there may be redness around the anus area. There um, might be a discharge, pus or blood. Um, they may express their anal glands at inappropriate times. And also lastly, you may find that they're licking. And this side is red, it's saliva stained. Can you see the difference there? So she licks at that one anal gland. Bella has had some challenges in the past where she's had some um, slip discs, um, some spinal challenges, and that can cause some anal gland problems if the nerves and the muscle tone are weaker. Some other possible reasons that a dog's anal glands may fill up would be that they're on an in inappropriate diet, not a species um, specific diet. So their stool is not bulking up, passing through the anus, expressing those glands on its way out. It could be constipation. It could be a soft stool. They may have gotten into something. So that stool again is not expressing them naturally. Obesity is another biggie. Um, inadequate exercise, exercise keeps everything moving, and even stress. You'll find that some dogs express their anal glands when they're nervous or stressed, they go in the car. Um, so those are a, a couple reasons that this can happen. I'm going to show you how to express them at home. <laughs> So we're going to do an external method that is very safe. Your veterinarian can do an internal method if a dog's anal glands are impacted. You'll just need some gloves. And I like to use some wipes. These are a pure and natural wipey. They're fragrance free. They're just water. Um, I find these um, very easy to work with and then they can wipe away any discharge. And then Bella is going to be our model for this. So let's get one of these wipes out. All right, so what we do is we're gonna turn her. I'm gonna show you. And you wanna, if you lift their tail up, it causes the anal glands to protrude out. There's an anal gland at three o'clock and there's an anal gland at nine o'clock. Some are at two and 10 that you have to feel. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use the flat part of your fingers. You're not gonna use the tips of your fingers to go in. You're gonna go in like this. And so what I do, I hold her up. I put my hand under her tummy. I hold her tail up. I use my wipey to cover her bum. And then I'm going to go around the anus behind the anal gland and I can feel a small pea to grape-like sac, and you're just gently going to milk it out. Milking out, milking out, milking out, and then you're gonna wipe away her bum. And you can see she's doing quite well. She's got a small amount of discharge, nothing at all. Sometimes it will come out like clay, sometimes chunky like cottage cheese. <laughs> So if it does come out where it's green or there's any blood or there's um, a yellowish pussy discharge, you definitely want to go to your veterinarian. Your veterinarian um, will need to follow up on that. So after that, most important, make sure to give her a cookie. So I just let our model down and I gave her a cookie. Now I'm going to show you the essential oils that I use to spray her if she is having a problem. She's not right now, so I don't need to use that. So I found this recipe through trial and error. Um, Bella was going to the vet 
once a month for five months to have that one anal gland expressed. It was costing me $65 every time I went in to have it done. And I was worried, she's older, it was green, we were having trouble keeping up on it. So through trial and error, I um, use one of my old essential oil bottles and I put a spray top on these. You can buy these on Amazon or you can, your hand sanitizer bottle is phenomenal. And then I mix this recipe up. I use um, four drops of lavender. Lavender is very soothing, calming to the tissue. I use four drops of frankincense, which is great for cellular repair and anti-inflammatory. This is key. I use two drops of cypress. This cools the area and reduces inflammation. Um, a great anti-inflammatory. And then I use two drops of rosemary, which we talked about last night on our pain and inflammation class, great for reducing inflammation. If you have a dog that is prone to seizures, you will want to admit the rosemary. And lastly, I use four drops of the copaiba or copaiba, however you want to pronounce that. Um, this is great for increasing circulation and great for nerve pain. So this is gonna help keep her away. I spray that on her bum two to three times a day. I was doing it for about seven days and all of a sudden that discharge started to decrease. Um, I also increased the fiber. And so I'm gonna show you some recipes that I use to increase the fiber. One is steaming some zucchini. small amount of zucchini. I add about a tablespoon of zucchini to my little dog's food and up to a quarter cup to my larger dog's food. You can use other high fiber um, vegetables like green beans, um, sweet potato, of course pumpkin, we've all heard of that. So that's a great idea. Then my treats, what I do is I take that zucchini and I slice it little circles for my little dogs and then I slice long for Buka, my big guy, and I dehydrate them. Um, those make crunchy like potato trip, like treats, but they're getting loaded with fiber. And lastly, I'm gonna post a recipe for a high fiber broth to add to their food. 